This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 40 of the Orc Gun Wagon tutorial. Okay, let's start by selecting this piece. Uh, create a box. Oops. Using auto grid. Okay, just kind of create it like that. Alright, um, convert to editable poly, polygon, select this polygon, hinge from edge, pick hinge, the back one, and do 90 and mm, 9. Okay, uh, select this polygon here, inset, inset just a bit, and extrude it down. about negative 23, looks pretty good, and hinge from edge, pick hinge, and pick that in, ooh, and never mind, cancel, select the right polygon first, uh, okay, it's odd, extrude it, okay, Hinge from edge, pick hinge, make it negative 90. Okay, there we go. We have a little pocket thing. Um, edges, select all of those edges. Loop. Okay, uh, chamfer them. A small chamfer. These two loop chamfer. Give them a small chamfer. Okay. Um, next, let's build a box. Right about here. And. Okay. Decrease the height to about point. 372, convert to editable poly, select that edge and that edge, connect, slide it over so you have an equal thickness. Okay, polygon, and extrude it straight out about 3.2, looks good. Alright, edges, select them all, press chamfer, go on a slight chamfer. Okay, and cylinder, we'll just create a cylinder right there, kind of big, one height segment, and six sides, convert to editable poly, polygon, select the edges, chamfer, okay, and then just copy it out, rotate it 90 degrees, and sink it right back in. Okay, then select all of those and copy it down. Okay. And then select everything here and move it over. Deselect that, copy those. Oops. Mirror on the Y. And then sync it right back in. Okay, now they have like a little cubby. And let's put um, all right, select like this polygon, inset it a bit, okay, and bevel it inward ever so slightly. Okay, uh, create a cylinder, six sided, uh, convert to editable poly, polygons like that, chamfer. Okay, and copy it over, copy it down, and copy it over again. Okay, 
right, and also uh, copy them. Copy them on the inside. So sync them in. Copy them there. Copy it up. Over. And down. Next, uh, select this edge, select both those edges, connect, and just move it over a bit. With these two, connect, move it down a bit, and let's see, select these top edges there, connect, move them down a bit. Let's select these. Connect and move them up a bit and over. And just add a little more variation. Got a big cylinder right in there. Radius of about 1.295, height of about 0.4. Convert to editable poly, polygons like there, edges, chamfer. And okay. Polygon, select the internal one there, inset, okay, and give it a very small extrude, about 0.3, edges, chamfer, okay, that looks pretty good there, and let's see, uh, We can now just open up, hit this box, inset it a bit, OK, and extrude uh, downward ever so slightly. OK, um, next let's build. What do we want over here? Um, build a box like so. Okay, uh, convert to editable poly edge. Okay, chamfer. Just like chamfer there. So let these edges connect. Them inward, so like these connect, bring them inward, and then just create a box about right here. You bring it out a bit, convert to editable poly, polygons so like that, edges, chamfer. Okay, get another box in the center of that box. Okay, uh, convert to editable poly. Uh, just make it a bit skinnier actually. Okay, select this polygon and bring it straight up into there. And just select that top edge. Top right there and bring that down just a bit. Okay, uh, create a box right up here. Thickness, convert to editable poly, polygons like there, edges, chamfer. Okay. Um, next, create a cylinder right here. Just a little one. Convert to editable poly, polygons like that, edges, chamfer. And uh, that'll be it for part 40. I will see you in part 41.